Now we're going to talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So eigen uh, is a German, a German word that means latent or characteristic. And that's just a fancy way of saying that these are important values and important vectors. Okay, We have important numbers and important vectors associated with every uh, matrix A that you're going to analyze. And we're going to look at this in the context of the system of equations xk plus 1 equals a matrix A times xk. In case okay, so I recall that x is just a vector of numbers, A is a big matrix, a square matrix, um, and xk plus 1 is another vector of numbers, probably at a later time. So I think of this as maybe day k, and this is the next day, k plus 1. Okay, so this is some process that's iterating in time. And A tells me how I go from my state at one instance of time to the next instance of time. Okay, and we notice that this sometimes blows up. Okay, sometimes this blows up uh, to infinity. So sometimes X blows up and sometimes it decays. To zero. And we want to know why. Okay, so the answer to why we find um, through looking at the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of this matrix A. Okay, so the answer is eigenvalues of A. And in particular, what we're looking for, so these eigenvalues and eigenvectors, I'm going to write this up here because this is really special. So we're looking for special numbers, um, special vectors x, and special numbers lambda, such that a times this vector x equals uh, lambda times x. Okay, so lambda is my eigenvalue, and x is my eigenvector. Okay, so let me just say this again. So for a given matrix A, a square matrix, there exist these special vectors x and special numbers lambda, such that if I take my matrix A times this eigenvector, I get basically the same eigenvector, but scaled by this eigenvalue lambda. Okay, so we're gonna look at what this means um, in, in more detail. Okay, but this is the basic framework, is that we're looking for the, this is how we're defining these special numbers, uh, lambda and x. Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate this. So before I tell you how to find these numbers, I'm just going to demonstrate what it looks like to have one of these special numbers. And we're going to get an intuition for the geometry of what matrix multiplication actually looks like. Okay? So the simple example I'm going to start with, um, we're going to take a matrix um, A, and this matrix A is going to be given by a big square matrix of 3, minus 1, minus 1, 3. Okay, and I'm going to draw some coordinate system here so that I can uh, plot my vectors. Okay, so I have uh, x and y coordinates. And the idea is that any time I, so this matrix A essentially takes vectors and it gives me new vectors, right? If I, if I multiply this by an input vector, then I get an output vector. And so let's just see what this looks like for a few different vectors. Okay, so we're going to try, um, let's try this vector x equals 1, 0. So that's an input vector um, just a unit vector in the x direction right here. Okay, a little unit vector. And if we multiply a by this unit vector, okay, we get 3 times 1 plus 0 times negative 1 is 3. And if we multiply it on the bottom, we get a negative 1. So this goes to ax equals 3 and minus 1. Okay. And so that output vector, 3 minus 1, so we go 3 in the x direction, 1, 2, 3, 
and we go minus 1 in the y direction. Okay, so this is my output vector. Okay. Now notice that the input vector and the output vector point in different directions. Okay, they're close, but they're, they're different directions. Okay, so this is just some generic vector I chose. I multiply it by a, and I get a different direction out. Let's try another one. Let's try uh, the y-axis vector, 0, 1. Okay, so now if I take and multiply uh, my a matrix by this vector, then I get um, 0 times 3 plus 1 times negative 1. So ax, the first entry is negative 1. And then if I take and multiply the second row of a by this, I get 0 times negative 1 plus 3 times 1. So I get a positive 3 in here. So this is my output vector, a times x. OK, so my, so my input vector was this unit vector in the y direction. OK, this unit vector in the y direction. And the output vector is minus 1 in the x direction, and then positive 3 in the y direction. So minus 1, 1, 2, 3 is up here. OK, so again, my input vector and my output vector are pointing in different directions. So generically, if you just randomly choose a vector and you multiply it by a matrix A, it's probably going to point in a different direction. OK, that's kind of a, a normal thing that you encounter. But now let's try one of these special vectors, one of these special eigenvectors that I told you exist. So I'm not telling you how I know that this is an eigenvector, but I, I know that this is one. And so we're going to try a special x. And this special x is given by 1, 1. OK, so 1 in the x direction, 1 in the y direction. OK, and so what we're going to do is now we're going to, so my input vector is this 1, 1, this very special uh, direction 1 1 and what we're going to do is multiply this by our a matrix okay so if I take this 1 1 vector and multiply it by the first row I get 3 minus 1 is 2 okay and you're probably starting to see what's going to happen next so if you take this vector and multiply it by my second row equation I get minus 1 plus 3 that's also 2 good OK, and so this output vector 2, 2 is in the same direction as my original vector. So this equals 2 times x. OK, so my output vector is 2 in the x direction followed by 2 more in the y direction. OK, so we're going, so this is my output direction. And we find that for this very special x, 1, 1, when we multiply it through a, we get the same direction but magnified by a factor of 2. Okay, So this is a special vector. This is an eigenvector, eigenvector x, with eigenvalue. Right, The eigenvalue is the number that scales this vector. So with eigenvalue, lambda equals to 2. So this is really, really cool. Okay, So what we have is that this x is a special x. It's an eigenvector, okay, with, with eigenvalue lambda equals 2. Okay, there's another one, so another special vector. Again, in the next uh, video segment, I'm going to tell you how we find these special vectors, but for now, just take my word that they, they exist. Okay, so the next special vector is 1 minus 1. Okay, so 1 in the x direction, minus 1 in the y direction. So we go over 1 and down 1, and this is my special input vector, Okay, this one right here. And again, we're going to multiply this by a times x, um, and we're just going to, we're going to do this. So if I take 1 times 3 plus negative 1 times negative 1, that's 3 plus 1 is 4. Right, minus times minus is positive. Similarly, if I take this uh, times the bottom row, then I get a minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4. And again, this is exactly in the same direction as my eigenvector. Okay, So this equals um, 4 times x. So this is an eigenvector. So x is an eigenvector. with eigenvalue 
lambda equals 4. Okay, and this is how we say it. We say x, this vector 1, negative 1, is an eigenvector of the matrix A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals 4. Okay? Now, something I didn't tell you is that for a 2 by 2 matrix A, there are exactly two special eigenvalues and special eigenvectors. For a 3 by 3 matrix, you would have three special directions and special numbers. For a 4 by 4, you would have four and so on and so forth. Okay? So just to summarize, right, we're looking for these special uh, vectors x and special numbers lambda for a specific matrix A. So for a given matrix A, we're trying to find special directions, special vectors x, such that when I multiply A times x, I get a vector that's in the same direction. Okay? And being in the same direction means I can write it as some number times my original vector. It just scales. It makes my vector longer or shorter or flips it to a you know, negative. Um, and so for this example, we have two eigenvectors, uh, 1, 1, and 1, negative 1. And they correspond to eigenvalues of lambda equals 2 and lambda equals 4. Okay, so in the next short, we're going to see how we can use these special eigenvalues and eigenvectors, how we can find them. So I just told you that these were the special values. In the next section, I'm going to show you how to actually solve for, uh, for lambda and x that satisfy this property. Okay, thank you.